Time. Uh, this is a story a lot of you want to know more about. The world's most wanted drug trafficker is headed to prison for life. El Chapo made billions of dollars and destroyed thousands of lives, including right here in Texas. But as Matt Howerton reports, his reign of terror may not be over. He smuggled more than $12 billion worth of drugs into the U.S., but as of Wednesday, the 30-year criminal career of Joaquin Guzman ended. You know him as El Chapo. A New York judge sentenced the 62-year-old to life in prison after money laundering drug and murder convictions. The man will not see uh, daylight again. This is Phil Jordan. He ran the DEA in Dallas during the 80s and 90s and calls El Chapo's fate a victory. The fact that we were able to get him extradited to the United States, that's a, uh, that's a grand slam. But it's a short-lived grand slam. El Chapo's arrest sent a message, but Jordan feels it wasn't received by cartels. Drugs still flow into the U.S., and last month, Mexico saw the most murders on record, over 3,000. El Chapo, to Jordan, is just a weed. You cut him out, two more spring up just like him. The wheels never stop turning, in, um, even though we captured or Chapo Guzman was just sentenced. That doesn't stop anything. And what about these families? We were robbed of their lives. Last year, WFAA told you that three former Mexican police officers in witness protection informed federal prosecutors that El Chapo was involved in the murders of these Americans from 1984 to 1985 in Mexico. Alberto Radalat was from Fort Worth. The families wanted El Chapo formally charged, but now that he's going away for life, Jordan says it likely won't happen. So you don't think justice will ever come for them? Not to the families. El Chapo has escaped several prisons in Mexico, but on American soil, he'll likely end up at Colorado's Supermax prison. And the only way he leaves there is in a box. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.